first question is from Gimme Cashews. Is there any way to mimic the action of sled pushes at home? Oh, this is a cool one. Yeah, put oh, your car yeah. in neutral, push it down the street. Yeah, that's one method. <laughs> actually, sure. That's actually, a, yeah, a, you could. I didn't even think about that. That's you actually can't. really good. You got to have somebody in there st- steering the car. Make sure you don't push it on its own because you can have yeah, a real bad. The, the risk factor goes up just a little bit it's with bad. that. But uh, I think, too, if you've ever seen those moving slides that you put under couches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you put your hands on those and you kind of lock out your elbows and you get it down into like the. Uh, the beast position, you could actually just kind of push your way forward and and get a similar effect. Oh, that works pretty well. You know what else I was thinking about? We've been talking so much about the benefits of uh, isometric exercises is getting to a wall and driving into a wall. Mm -hmm. So you're mimicking pushing a sledge. You ain't going anywhere. Um, I think that's a cool way to actually create a a cool exercise that probably a lot of people don't do. So Mm -hmm. another thing you can do, it's similar to a sled push, but you're not, you're actually kind of pulling is you could get a strap. These are easy to get tied around your waist, tied around a couple heavy plates, do this on some grass and then pull the plates behind you. Mm -hmm. So it's not hard to find, you know, like a tie down strap or whatever, something that's not going to, you know, dig into your skin, put it around your waist, put around the plates. You're on grass, so you're not going to hurt anything. You're not going to ruin the, the weights. And then, you know, put a couple plates on there and just and just drive and just walk. Yeah, actually, I just remembered we had an old YouTube video where I was like, I had one of those ab rollers, and I was doing that uh, basically like doing a bear crawl. With, oh, we did that? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember with, that. With, with the ab uh, wheel, which was really difficult. You know, we want to know it's a nasty exercise with an ab wheel. Hold on to an ab wheel, stabilize yourself, have your friend hold your legs like a wheelbarrow, oh, God. and have them pull. <laughs> Have them pull, not push, but pull. So you're just. Uh, that sounds like a challenge. You got to keep your core tight the whole time. You know the thing I love about sled pushes, and I didn't do. I, I never did these a lot um, oh, in I my career. I, I didn't do them a lot until I met Justin, and Justin, you know, we all worked out together once and or a couple times, and Justin always would include some kind of exercise that you know Adam and I was weren't super familiar yeah, unconventional with doing. Stuff. Yeah, and I remember doing the sled and feeling good afterwards. I had this great feeling. In my body. Part of the benefits of the sled is the fact that there's no negative portion to the rep. Now, negative, the negative portion of a rep is great for muscle growth. It's great for strength, all this other stuff. So it's not bad. But one of the detriments is it does cause a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. When you're just focusing on the positive, you can add a lot more volume with and get strength gains without causing so much soreness so yeah you can control your body a lot more too it provides a lot safer way to really like express that 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 muscle tension yeah and so i I just love adding them to almost any leg workout i can add them or sometimes i'll add them to an upper body exercise where i'm getting into a position of pushing then explode with the sled push and then continue so this has now become a a, an exercise i never did before Mm -hmm. That is now made into irregular. Two rotation. of the most underrated exercises, in my opinion, farmer walk and the sled push. Oh, I mean, for those two, our sled pull for for that matter. I think that they're just they're so like uh, easily accessible for anybody to do, and and you know, regardless of what kind of variables and limitations you have, uh, those two exercises will definitely uh, be great to add into your routine. Absolutely. Well, I know it's trendy to say functional, but it's there's such functional movements. Totally. Right? Yeah. I think that's. It. I know DeFranco, who's one of the best trainers you'll find anywhere, and is ex- excellent with athletes. He like that was his thing. He used a lot of sleds with athletes. Yeah, got a lot of cris- criticism because they said, "Oh, that's going to slow them down because you're obviously not running fast." Mm-hmm. And he says, "No, it makes them faster." And then, of course, sure enough, he was totally right. It does make them a lot faster. It's a very functional movement. It's one of the more functional movements you could do that has so much carryover to your regular life, especially if you play sports.